Good morning. Today we are going to be doing a beginner total body strength routine. So let's just start by getting our body moving, warming everything up, waking it up. Again, you can follow along with me with the warm up, or you can just do whatever you would like to do to get your body moving as long as you are getting warmed up, moving in any direction that feels comfortable. You can march in place, swing back and forth, some deep breaths in and out. Good. Stepping side to side again. You can swing the arms above your head if it feels okay. You can twist from side to side, warming up the waist. Good. All right. So for our first two exercises, we are going to switch between a bicep curl and a hammer curl. I mean, sorry, a hamstring curl, sorry. All right, so let's grab our dumbbells and we'll do the bicep curl first. Again, if you don't have dumbbells, totally fine. You can use your own body weight or things around the house like water bottles. All right, so elbows glued, palms facing forward. We're gonna curl all the way to the top, wrist straight and slowly all the way down. All right, keep breathing. Keep those elbows glued to the side. Good. Three, slowly resisting gravity coming down. Four, good. Five, good. Six, seven, Good, eight, keep breathing. Keep those wrists straight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Awesome, all right, give those arms a rest. You can put them to the side. Feel free to hold on to the wall for this one or a chair or anything you have near you. We're gonna try to get our our legs glued together. So get your knees to touch as best you can. Again, it's okay if they can't completely touch, but trying your best to have them together. We're gonna have our toe pointed out in the back. We're gonna curl and slowly lower down. So same thing. We wanna really squeeze at the top and slowly lower down instead of just letting our leg drop. Good, keep breathing, try to stay upright. Good, awesome. And again, if you wanna make this more difficult and you have an ankle weight with you, you can always add an ankle weight on to make it a little bit harder. Good, all right, last three, two, and one. All right, give that leg a little shake. Might be a little tight behind your leg. We'll switch to the other side. Again, trying to get those knees together as best you can. Toe pointed out in the back, curling all the way to the top. Squeeze and slowly all the way down. All right, remember, try to stay upright as much as you can. Using that core to hold you up. Belly button sucked in, pelvic tilt. Good, keep breathing. Good, we're halfway done. Seven. Nice and slow, really squeezing at the top. Good. Three. Good, and last one. Awesome. All right, give those legs a nice shake. We'll feel it in the back of your leg right here. Let's go back to the bicep curl and do another set of 12. So, elbows glued, palms facing forward. We're gonna curl to the top, keep those wrists straight and slowly coming down, resisting gravity. Again, same with this one, making sure your elbows stay against the side and don't come up as you curl. Good. Three. Four. Five. Good. Six, seven, good, keep breathing. Check on those wrists. 
eight. Good, you got this last four. Three. Again, we don't want to rush this. I know it seems like you're like, all right, let's just hurry up and do the curls. But the slower you go, the more you're going to get out of it. Last one and slowly down. Perfect. All right, you can put those to the side. We're going to go back to the hamstring curl. So again, feel free to hold on. Knees glued as best you can. Toe pointed out in the back. We're going to curl and slowly come down. So squeeze at the top and slowly down again. Even though we're focusing on the leg, we're going to draw that belly button in, trying to pull ourselves up tall. So we're engaging our core again. And also, if you are not holding on, it's helping with your balance as well. Good. Halfway. Keep breathing. You've got this. Seven. Again, same with this one. It might be easy to just like go up and down super quickly, but you're going to definitely feel it more the slower you go. Last two. Good. And 12. Awesome. All right. Give the legs a shake. We'll stretch the backs, backs of our legs at the end. We'll move to the other side. So knees glued as best you can. Toe out in the back. Standing up tall. Curl and squeeze and slowly down. Two. Good. Three. Four. Good. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Keep breathing. Eight. Last four. Good. Last three. Two. And last one. All right. Give those legs both a nice shake. We are now going to switch between a reverse pec fly. And then we are going to do a squat with three slow punches. So let's first start with the reverse fly. Again, optional dumbbells. Again, I'm sure you'll still feel this with no weight at all in that upper back. So we're gonna have our feet together, slight bend in the knee, hinging at the waist, weights out in front of us, back flat, bring those arms up, squeeze, and slowly come down. So at the top, pretending as if your shoulder blades could touch at the top, and then back down. Again, head either up or down, whatever puts the least amount of pressure on your neck. Good, try to keep that back flat the whole time. Good, using your core to help keep that back flat so you're not straining the lower back at all. Good, we are halfway there, squeeze. Same with this one. You don't wanna just be whipping up and down, consciously squeeze at the top and back down. Last four. Good, keep breathing. Three. Two. And one. Awesome, all right. You can put those weights down. Okay, so for the next one, we are going to be getting in our squat position. So a little greater than hip distance apart, pretending as if you were about to go sit on a chair, making sure those knees don't go over your toes and that they are in line with your toe going forward. So not coming in or out. You decide how far you wanna come down. Once you're down here, we're gonna punch left, punch right, and punch left again, and slowly come up. All right, so down, punch, punch, punch. Again, if you wanna make this a little harder, you can hold your dumbbells while doing this. Good, and again, remember to check on those knees, make sure they're not going over your toes. Good. Awesome. Keep breathing. You got this. We're halfway. Good. Punch, punch, punch. Good. Awesome. Check on those knees again. They can always sneak forward a little bit, especially towards the end. And again, you decide how far down you want to go. It could just be a little mini squat, or it could go all the way down as far as you can. Good. Two more. 
Good. And done. All right, awesome. We're gonna go back to the reverse peck fly. So grabbing those dumbbells. All right, so feet together, slight bend in the knee, hinging at the waist, weights out in front of you. Coming up to the top, squeeze, and slowly down again. Head either looking up, looking down, whatever puts the least tension on your neck. Good. Keep breathing. Six. Good. Almost there. You got this. Eight. Make sure you're squeezing out the top. Good. Drawing the belly button in. Last two. And 12. Awesome. All right. You can put those weights to the side. All right. So now we're going to go back to the squat and punches. So again, a little greater than hip distance apart, knees in line with your toes. You come down as far as you feel comfortable. Punch left, right, and left. Good. Awesome. Good. Good. Again, check on those knees. Make sure they're not over your toes. Good. Keep smiling. Keep breathing. We're almost there. Halfway. Check on those knees once again. Good. Awesome. Again, you decide how far you want to go down. Four more. Good. You got this almost there. Two more. And last one. Perfect. All right, awesome job. So the next thing we're going to do is a shoulder press. So optional, if any pain in the shoulder, so you can either try this without any weight, if that still is bothering you, you can either go back to the curls or you can do a tricep extension. If not, we're gonna be doing the shoulder press. So grabbing those dumbbells, we're gonna have our palms facing forward. We're gonna press right up overhead and slowly come back down. Good. Two. Again, relax the neck, keep the shoulder blades down as best you can. Good. Four. Don't let those shoulders come up to your ears. Good. Six. Oops. <laughs> Don't hit the ceiling. Seven. I always forget that ceiling is slanted there. Good, four more. Keep breathing. Good, you got this. Last two. And done. All right, put those weights to the side. We'll give our arms a little rest. We're going to switch between that and we're going to be doing a side or lateral lunge. So with this, same thing as when we do a regular lunge or a reverse lunge, you wanna make sure your knee is not going over your toe. So you wanna think more to the side and down. So when you step out, you're still kind of doing like you would do with a squat. You're sitting back, pretending like you're about to sit down and then stepping back up to meet the other foot. You decide how far you want to step out and how far you want to go down. If you just want to kind of step to the side and step back in, totally fine. But if you are going to go into a deeper lunge, make sure that knee doesn't go over your toe. All right, we're going to do 12 on each side. Feel free to hold on to something in front of you for extra balance. All right, here we go. One, again, think down and back. Two, you decide how far down you want to go. Again, often you can just step to the side and step back in. Good. Four, keep breathing. You got this. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Good. Almost there. Eight. Check on that knee. Good. 
nine. Again, you should feel it in both legs. Um, you might feel it on the inner thigh a little bit of the leg that is not stepping out. Good. But again, yes, most of the work is in that leg that you're stepping out. All right, one more. And back. All right, give both legs a shake, and then we'll move on to the other side. So same thing, starting with the feet together, but I'll step to the other side, down and back, check on that knee, and step back up. Again, hands can do whatever they want. Mine just tend to go forward and back up. You can decide whatever feels more comfortable, or you can hold on to something in front of you. Good. Good, awesome. Down and back. Perfect, we're halfway. You got this almost there. Keep breathing. Good. Eight. Good. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Good, and last one, and twelve. Good, all right. Give those legs a nice little shake. We'll go back to the shoulder press or again, either the bicep curl or tricep extension if that bothers your shoulder. Okay, so we're gonna grab those dumbbells again. All right. So palms facing forward, relax the neck and shoulder blades, pressing up above your head and back down. Good. Again, make sure those shoulder blades don't come up towards your ears, because that's gonna, you know, you're gonna feel that a little bit in your neck afterwards. It might not feel that different now, but afterwards, it might strain your neck a little bit. So try to keep those shoulder blades down as best you can, really focusing on the arms. If you're still feeling it in the neck, your weights might be too heavy. Good. Awesome. We're almost there, we're halfway. Keep breathing. Good. Last three, two, and one. Perfect. All right, you can put those to the side and we'll go back to the lateral lunge. Okay, so feet together, optional holding on, stepping out to the side, think down and back, step to meet the other foot. Good, all right, two, you got this. We're almost done. We have just a few more things after this. Good. Four. Good. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Awesome. You're almost there. Eight. Check on the knee. Make sure it's not going over your toe. Good. Last three. Keep breathing. Awesome. Two. And one. Awesome. All right, give both legs a shake. We'll move on to the other side. So feet together, step to the side, down and back. And step to meet the other foot. Good, all right, check on that knee. Keep breathing, three. Good. Four, five, good, six, seven, awesome, eight, good, nine, almost there, keep breathing, last three, two, and one. All right, give those legs a nice shake. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our legs into a wide squat, not really a squat, just bring them apart. Slight bend in the knee. You don't have to go super far down. You decide how far, but we're gonna do alternating calf raises on each side. So the further you kind of are down when you're doing these, the more you're gonna feel it in the inner thighs, as well as the calf muscle. All right, so we're gonna end up doing 12 on each side. 
Hands wherever you'd like. Feel free to hold on for balance in the front. All right, here we go. So one, good, two. Perfect, same with this one. You wanna make sure the knees aren't going over your toes at all. Good. Four. Good, you got this. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good. 10, 11, and 12. All right, good. Again, the further you go down, the more you're gonna feel it in the inner thighs. We're gonna switch between that arm circuit, and then we'll do, repeat that all again, and then we'll stretch. All right, so let me get my timer out here. Let's see. Um, all right, so let's circle forward, backwards, 90 degree pulse and 90 degrees in front of you. So we'll do 20 seconds in each direction in three, two, one. All right, circling forward. Again, every single time I feel like I do this, it starts off so easy and then by the end, your arms are about to fall off. So again, trying to release any tension from your neck, really focusing on your arms. Good, we'll reverse back. Circling back for 20 seconds. Again, doesn't have to be super big circles. Just little ones. Your arms are the only thing that should be moving. Good. All right, let's see. So if I can see my watch at the same time. All right, 90 degree pulse in three, two, one. 90 degrees, little pulse up and down. Good. All right, keep breathing. We're almost there. We're gonna go back to the, um, the squat, I mean, not, sorry, not the squat. The alternating calf raises next after you do last 20 seconds in front of our chest. Three, two, one. Meeting in front, trying to keep that 90 degrees. Good, almost there. Keep breathing. Last 10 seconds. Good, three, two, one. All right, let those arms rest. We're gonna do, repeat that whole thing once again, same arm routine, same calf raises. So bring your legs apart, squat down as far as you feel comfortable, again, without letting your knees go over your toes. So you wanna step out wide enough that they will not be going over your toes. All right, alternating calf raises. We're gonna do 12 on each side, good. Keep it up, three, four, Five, good, keep breathing. Six, seven, eight, good, keep breathing. You got this. 10, 11, and 12. Okay, give those legs a little shake. Back to the arm circuit, and then we'll do a little stretch. All right, so let's start. Same thing, circling forward in three, two, one. Again, trying to really focus on the arms, trying to release any tension from your neck. Good, keep breathing. Awesome, circling forward. We'll reverse in three, two, one. Reverse back again, small circles, trying not to move your entire body, holding everything stable, using your core and just moving your arms. All right, we have 10 seconds and then we'll do the 90 degree pulse. Almost there. Three, two, one, 90 degree pulse. Good, 20 seconds here and then the last 20 seconds we'll do in front of our chest. Good, good, almost there. Oh, if I can read this. Okay, almost there. Good, three, two, one in front for the last 20 seconds. Good, you got this. Again, trying to not move your whole body, just your arms. 10 seconds. Good. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, let those arms release. We're gonna do a quick little stretch. Bring our arm across our body. Deep breath in and out. 
Again, feel free to repeat these a second time or check out one of our stretch videos for a longer stretch. We'll switch arms. Good. Awesome. Kind of sway back and forth if you want to. Again, only do whatever feels comfortable. We're gonna bring our arm behind our head, grabbing onto the elbow. Good. Keep breathing. Switching sides. Awesome. All right, we're gonna roll the shoulders back. Deep breath in. Good. Arms in front of your body, making a circle, tucking your head under, stroking out the back of your neck and upper back. Good. Letting your arms come behind you, opening up your chest. Good. All right, heel on the ground, reaching for your toe, stretching out your calf and the back of your legs. You can also put your foot up against the wall to do this as well. Good. Keep breathing. Okay, switching sides. Again, deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. All right, come back to standing. We'll do a big head roll in one direction, nice and slow. Good. Once you get back to the beginning point, circling the other way. All right, bring your legs apart, slight bend in the knee, letting your whole body fall forward, swaying side to side, releasing any tension, grabbing onto your elbows. Good, slowly rolling up. Good, deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Two more. Nice deep breath in. And out. Last one. Deep breath in. And out. All right. Great job, everyone.